Welcome to the project demonstration of solar battery charging by using bidirectional DC to DC buck and boost converter. So here uh, mainly we are using a solar power system. Uh, here the main advantage and features of this project is so when we are getting the sufficient voltage from the solar panel to charge a battery means uh, whenever the battery voltage is less than the solar panel then the solar panel power will be given to the battery pack as well as to this load. And whenever the solar panel is getting low voltage, means due to, uh, due to the night times or uh, low sunlight intensity, then the solar panel will provide as a low voltage. In that case, the battery pack will drive this load uh, without giving any interruption. Means uh, solar panel can drive the load and battery when it is uh, uh, sufficient to charge this battery pack and drive the load. Mean whenever this voltage is more than the battery pack, and whenever there is no sunlight, in order to run this load continuously the battery will be connected to this load and for that purpose we are making use of these two MOSFET boards so this MOSFET board will drive this load uh, with the help of solar panel and uh, this MOSFET board will drive this load from this battery pack and these two circuits are the buck and boost converter so whenever we place the solar panel under the sunlight if it is uh, less than uh, 10 volts and more than 7.5 volts then this boost converter will boost up the voltage to drive this load along with charging a battery pack and the same thing is whenever the solar panel voltage is more than 14.5 volts so then uh, the remaining voltage will be regulated between the 12.5 uh, to 14.5 to make that voltage to charge a battery pack and to run the load so that's called as a buck converter buck converter to uh, decrease the voltage uh, more than the uh, which is the input from this solar input from this solar panel to this uh, buck converter means it will reduce the voltage and boost converter will increase the voltage output than the input voltage so these two are using that uh, for boosting and buck, buck converter purpose and uh, so after the boost converter means the flow is so from the solar panel we are providing the input to this MOSFET board as well as to this voltage sensor to measure the voltage from the solar panel so the output this MOSFET will be controlled by the microcontroller and the output of this MOSFET is input to this boost converter and the boost converter voltage is input to this battery pack through this charging circuit and once the battery is sufficient to charge and uh, if the battery voltage is more than the solar panel voltage the output of this battery pack is input to the voltage sensor so here you can see this this is the input to the solar power like microcontroller through this voltage sensor to measure the battery voltage to compare between the solar and the battery voltage and again same one one more input to this MOSFET so which is used to drive this load with the help of microcontroller so it will get switched on based on this voltage levels and the same thing the output from this one is given to the buck converter and from there to this load to drive this one and uh, extra source of charger we are providing that is the transformer which will take 230 volts AC inputs and provide as a DC voltage so these two charging circuits look like same so which has a uh, four diodes which will act as a AC to pulsating DC converter and the capacitor will remove the pulses and these two diodes will act as a unidirectional current flow whenever the battery is fully charged then it will block the current flow from the battery to the source and the LED indication will be there but coming to this charging circuit so in this these four diodes will act as a polarity corrector means if is any reverse polarity is corrected input to this the, uh, this four diodes will rectify that to plus to plus and minus to minus the output is input to the battery pack same through the two diodes with the LED indication and uh, this is the main microcontroller which is the brain of the system which is continuously measuring the voltage from these two voltage sensors one is solar panel one of these from the battery pack and based on the input we will control this uh, MOSFET boards and the so called status continuously displayed on the 16 by 2 LCD screen so this is all about the features and uh, uh, flow of our project so let us see the demonstration so before demonstration uh, like irrespective of the solar panel better keep the battery under charging just on the power supply to this transformer the light will be indicated as of now low light intensity we can see the low uh, light intensity from this LED as a low light intensity on the solar panel so whenever we place some external light so as we can see the light intensity is slowly increasing and now we can see the light intensity is totally decreased and so uh, you need to charge a battery pack either from the solar panel or the transformer so at least of 4 to 5 hours till the duration keep the battery under full charge before demonstration of the project now for execution of the project just connect this and uh, welcome message displayed on the LCD screen then after the battery voltage is zero as of now we switch off, switch off this battery pack to the microcontroller to make the low battery indication so that's why battery voltage is zero but solar panel voltage is 1.29 volts so now as a comparison it is providing the more voltage than battery pack so that the solar panel voltage is connected to the battery and the load you can see that now
okay and whenever we switch on the battery then the battery pack will be con connected to the microcontroller through this voltage sensor as the battery voltage is more than the solar panel voltage so that the battery voltage is connected to the load without any interruption so you can reset this right once you restart the microcontroller it will check with the availability of power source then based on that it will connect the load to the respective uh, availability of high voltage sources right